This is Alicia Bridges from Being Me and My Own Skin.com. And today I'm chatting with Olympic winner and swimmer Dara Torres and Dr. Shane Chapman, the section chief of dermatology at Darth Mouth Hitchcock Medical Center. That was a mouthful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you all doing today? We're good. Great, Happy to be you. talking with you. Awesome, awesome. So there's a new great campaign called Show More of You, and I just want you all to kind of tell me more about that. What exactly is the Show More of You campaign? Well, uh, as you know, we had a fun photo shoot with Shane, excuse me, famed photographer Martin Scholler. It was really a lot of fun. Uh, there was myself and four other people there, and uh, we just really had a, a great time, and we were able to bond and sort of talk about our experiences with uh, psoriatic disease, and, and the photographer was blasting music, and we just had a, you know, a fun photo shoot, but the reason for this campaign is because we want to really educate people about psoriatic disease, and if you go to showmoreofyou.com, uh, our photos are on there, as you know, and uh, other people who are suffering with psoriatic disease uh, have uploaded their photos, shared their inspirational stories, and we just encourage people to go to the website and learn more about psoriatic disease. So, Dara, what has your life been like living with psoriasis, and what changes have you seen in yourself since your diagnosis? Well, I was diagnosed back in the early 90s, which you didn't really talk about psoriatic disease back then. And I just noticed these red uh, patches, very itchy skin on my elbows and my lower back. And so I went to see my dermatologist. I was diagnosed with uh, psoriatic disease and psoriasis. And so uh, for me personally, it was tough because my business suit is a swimsuit. So going out on a pool deck in your swimsuit with these red patches on your skin was very embarrassing. And so I feel very honored to have teamed with Celgene and Otesla to uh, really just lend my voice and, and use this platform to teach people about what psoriasis is and, and just really honored to be a part of the Show More of You uh, campaign. That's awesome. Now, Dr. Chapman, we know a lot of people who are living with psoriasis and psoriatic disease deal with the mental component. Can you talk about that and what that's like and why you feel it's important for people living with psoriasis to participate in these type of campaigns? Sure. Well, it's the heartbreak of psoriasis. Most patients, when they discover they have psoriasis, it's, it's really a letdown. And, and you start thinking about your life and all the things you can do, but maybe things that you can't do uh, because of your psoriasis. So the emotional and mental impact of psoriasis, while it is a skin disease, uh, the emotional impact is, is very impactful to, to that person. And a lot of patients will hide away. Uh, they, they won't come out, they won't play, they don't wear shorts, uh, they don't swim, they don't go to the beach. And so that affects your life, especially if you get it early on, which uh, psoriasis does typically come out in your teens or your 20s, that really affects uh, younger people. Um, and it probably redirects you know, their life going forward uh, as adults. Yes, yes, wow, that is really difficult. Me having psoriasis myself, I know exactly what that means. Mm -hmm. um, if there were some words of wisdom or words of advice that you could give newly diagnosed patients, what three things would you say? What would you tell them? I would tell them this. You have psoriasis, but it's much better to have psoriasis in 2017 than it was 25 years ago. We have many medications now. Uh, you, some, some people can get by with topical medications or light therapy, but we have biologic or injectable medications now that work very well. We have oral medications that work very well. Otesla is one of them. Otesla or Primalas is a great way to treat psoriasis. Uh, certainly early on in the course of the disease and for patients who don't uh, want a, a needle or, or have to inject medication, it's a good place to start, I think. Uh, it's a pill. You take it twice a day. It requires no lab monitoring. Uh, it's a very safe medication. So in addition to the biologics we have now that we really didn't have 20 years ago, we have uh, this oral medication. And guess what? In the future, we're going to have even more uh, varieties of medications. And, they, and I think they'll get safer and safer as we go along. And I'd like to add to that. Um, you know, for me personally, I think it's important to lend my voice to teach people to be comfortable in their own skin and not worry about what other people are thinking. So that was a great, great question that you had asked. 
Awesome. And just in closing, can you just tell us one more time about the Show More of You campaign? How can people sign up and where can they go? Well, if you go to showmoreofyou.com, uh, there are many, many uh, people suffering from psoriatic disease who have uploaded their uh, photos, have shared very inspirational stories. My picture's on there along with other, other people who have suffered from uh, psoriatic disease. And it's really just to teach people what psoriatic disease is, to share their stories, and to teach people to be comfortable in their own skin. Awesome. Well, I thank the two of you so much for chatting with me today about the campaign. And I definitely will let all my friends know um, who are living with psoriasis to upload a picture, as well as those who don't have the disease so they can learn more and see the different faces living with it. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Alicia. All righty. Thank you. Yeah.